and you guys had had the lead there with about two minutes to go. In your mind, what happened after that? Um, <clears throat> they made some tough shots down the stretch, um, and we did. As simple as that. What's it like to be in a fourth quarter game with a team like that? That's not only talented, but has been together for a while and is, is you know really experienced. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's good for us. Um, the atmosphere that we're playing in, you know, um, they were kind of in our shoes a couple years ago. Um, being a young team, not really getting too many wins, and uh, you know there, that one return for them. So uh, you know it's big for us being a young group playing these type of games, but we just got to learn how to close them out. Let me get your thoughts, you know, on Fox and those last plays. You know, you uh, getting that block and then you coming down and getting that shot. Of course, you've probably seen it many, many times, but just your thoughts about what he did tonight. Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like he should have been an all-star, um, an elite player. Uh, you know, he really, even when we get into the fourth quarter, he started pretty much taking over the game. Uh, that's pretty much what he's done the past two years, and he's really grown and built off that. So, uh, I mean, he's a great player, made great plays, and that's what great players do. And getting back to you, you had 18 points in the first half. I mean, it was really a big plus, you know, for your team, as well as Kevin Johnson coming off the bench and so on. But uh, what has helped your game playing with a team like this when, you know, the record is not as great as, uh, not as good as you guys want to be? What keeps you focused? Um, Coach Bob, uh, that's that's number one. He, there's no being complacent. Obviously, you can't get complacent when you win 11 games. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, he pushes me every day. Feels like I can get to another level, and I feel like I can get there too. Uh, so just trying to be a leader for this team, uh, you know, help however I can, you know, with the young guys, and just try and get some wins. What kind of growth have you seen from Victor from season in to now? Uh, I mean, truthfully, it's night and day. I mean, today today might have been his best, you know, day obviously, but I mean, from his shot selection to just to being able to dominate the game on either end of the floor. I mean, there's times where people look. They're, they're reluctant to go to the paint. They'll go and they'll turn back around because they see him there. Um, just the impact that he has on the game is huge. Uh, it's just this is just a tough loss. I'm, that's all I keep thinking about. So uh, my bad for being so boring on these questions and stuff like that. But uh, this is one of those. You know, you come back from All Star break and you have a goal, and you're so close right there, and you just want to get this one. And you know, this this is just a tough one. It's not a silver lining here for you, though. So. Nah. Um, I mean, the, the good thing about the NBA is that we play tomorrow. Um, you know, we need to get this one tomorrow, but it's just a little frustrating. At the end of the day, that's all I can say. But what was it say about your group that despite the record, y'all still fighting? Um, and I don't know what you guys feel like your goal is. Is it just improvement or uh, like well, what are you what are you shooting for now? Our goal is, obvi is obviously to get better. Uh, I mean, get some wins. That's <laughs> the main thing. That's been the main thing since we started the season. Obviously, we haven't been great at that. So uh, just trying to change this thing around, turn this thing around these last 26 games now. It seems like a lot of your your offense is going to the basket now. And what, what's unlocked that for you over the last whatever, how many weeks? Mm, I mean, I feel like I keep bringing up the same thing, but it's just those two games where I couldn't make no shots uh, really showed me that I just don't need to just rely on just the three-point line. Um, you know, the coaches talk to me about getting my threes up, but if I'm open, I'm going to take them. I'm not going to shy away from them. But <clears throat> I know getting to the paint, I got big on lobs. KJ hit a big shot down the stretch. Um, it's like me just shooting threes the whole time isn't really helping unless I'm hitting them. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I've just been really trying to get downhill and just stay aggressive because getting to the free throw line or whatever the case may be. And then the play at the end where, where De'Aaron got you from behind, did you see him coming at all? Like he, uh, I mean, the play was drawn up perfectly. I mean... It seemed like a wide open dunk to me. Uh, I even tried to move it over, and he still got it. So, like I said, it's a hell of a play by him. Um, don't even know what else. Maybe I, shot I don't know fake you, or I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but I didn't even try to go straight up. If if I if I look go back, I tried to move it to the side, and he still ended up getting it. So yeah, I don't know if you looked at the video. It just seems like he just happens to get it just just right at the perfect time. So I mean, great play. Thanks, Dad. Oh, appreciate it. You good? Thanks.